Well, the, the, the recording sort of was that we're doing the TV. Um, the, the, uh, and the next album I put out, the first one basically <coughs> um, in, in South Africa, we didn't not just left alone, right? So, but I, when I did one in, uh, in Australia, of course being on TV, and it was called by request, that the people are asking, why can't we get a recording of, you know, there must have been people saying that into the TV or whatever, why can't we get a disc? So this company came up called Hamard Records in Melbourne, and I did a deal with them saying, well, I'll get it together with my pianist and everything, and we'll get in the studio and do it. You do all the promotion and all that. And we brought out this, by request, here's Cliff. And um, that went out, poof. That's, uh, and I got four gold albums for that one. That was the first start of big time. It wasn't big time selling because we're only looking at uh, Victoria, Australia area, you know. It wasn't national, it was just where I was and the TV station I was at and everything. So, but it was, um, that was a, a big thrill. When they ring you and, and say, she's gone gold, you know, and then it's gone, and a couple of days later it's going, oh, she's got another one. You know, and they've got four all together. I've got three here with me, but one's still in the office in Melbourne somewhere. <laughs> so, yeah, that was very, very exciting. But that, that again, I had fun on TV because it was all live. There was no match, you had to do it and, and rehearse just the two songs on the Friday lunchtime, and then Saturday you were in makeup, and then boom, on live. And that was it. And it wasn't a, a big studio, so you were restricted with area and size of it, but uh, good fun. But then meeting all the other stars that came out, you see. I met so many stars that came out and did the show. Like The Who came out, and. Um, What's the guy, uh, Des O'Connor, he was out there regularly on the buses, Steptoe and Son, all these coming out doing their sort of uh, round the world trips, got to know all them, it was, that was good fun meeting them, yeah. Because then I was married again and I had two children out there, my two little daughters, and uh, no, I had a nice little place uh, in Melbourne, but it's, um, no, I was quite happy with the situation. No, none of, none of the clubbing and all that sort of thing we used to do sort of over here. I mean, it was um, it was basically just very enjoyable, and going out to the bush, what they call the bush, where they would uh, book um, the town hall, and I would do a show at the town hall for them and whatnot. And all the weird names, Winnemburger and Mullungong and all that, <laughs> amazing. But I loved every minute. You see, again, I was being myself and, and sort of enjoying what I did up there. And it, the Aussies liked it too, so it was, it was nice. They sort of got together with it and enjoyed a crack or two here and whatnot, you know.